You probably have clients that have called in the past or probably still calling about Wix or Squarespace updates that they want done for their website. How do you handle that client? What do you say to them? And do you switch them over to a custom made or WordPress website? What's going on legends? Welcome back to another vlog. My name is Dan Bragg and in today's vlog we're going to be talking about how can you educate your client about Wix, Wibbly and how can you transfer the mindset into getting a proper website built. I want to make sure we address this issue because quite a bit of people asking me this and I'm actually getting clients sometimes calling as well and saying hey I have a website on Wix or Wibbly or Squarespace. I can do this edit. I want to make improvements on it. What can we do? I want to know in the comments below, how do you handle that client? What do you say to them? And do you switch them over to a custom made or WordPress website? The immediate reaction that I have when a client calls with that request is to say to them, is there a reason you're using Wix? Is there a reason why you're in Squarespace? Now, I'm not saying those websites are bad to use or I'm not saying that you shouldn't be using them. What I am saying is they are limited for drag and drop purposes. This is for the average user that doesn't know how to code, that wants to set something up very cost effective without having to worry about developers and designers doing things for them. This will get the job done. They'll have a landing page and they'll have clients coming to that page and potentially doing business with them. The problem is it's not really scalable. You can't really get too big with a Wix account or a Squarespace account. Now, the first thing I like to do is to explain to the client the limitations that they have with those platforms. Explain to them that if we transfer to a WordPress platform as an example, or if we do a custom coder website, for example, there is a lot more abilities and a lot more features that we can add onto the site as their business grows without having to worry about are we going to be able to do other thing? Are we going to be able to change things? Because Wix, Squarespace, Wibbly, those platforms do not allow necessarily a lot of scripts and a lot of edits to their templates. The one thing that clients don't consider is the fact that yes, they might have got this free Wix uh, website set up, but they don't think about what happens when they want extra features added. If they just buy it from the app store or the market that's available to set up those applications, all of a sudden the costs are adding up more and more and more. Whereas if they had a WordPress website set up, they are welcome to go in themselves and add a plugin or make a change to the code if they do figure that out. The idea is that they can do a lot more with a custom website than a pre-made website for them. Now, why am I telling you all this? You already know that because you're dealing with clients all the time and you know that they call for a Wix account and so on. What I want you to understand is how to educate them about making the switch. Keep in mind that they're using those platforms because they are on a tight budget. They're trying to save as much money as they can. They're trying to do things quickly. So your job is to figure out a fine line with budget, but also to make sure you offer them some kind of a website maintenance that'll make their life easy. Now, if you can provide them the value of switching over to a custom made website, if you can show them the exponential growth they can have within that website as their business growth, and if you can provide them a budget for both switching over and for both maintaining it and showing them how much less work they'll have to do on their end, that might be the biggest selling point for you and that's how you're going to switch them over and have this long-term client now. Now you're going to be charging them website maintenance for the long term. You're going to switch them over to a proper platform which will help their business grow and you're potentially going to see a success story, better testimonials for your business and a happy client. Okay guys, so I hope this helps you tackle the next line that calls about a Wix or a Squarespace or a Wibbly website or many other names out there that I haven't even thought of. In our group, I did ask you which topics you wanted me to cover and I do have a big list that I'm going through one by one on a weekly basis. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, and until next time guys, I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>